Before watching the video, please read the disclaimer here and be sure to check the description for how you can support the original release. And with that said, enjoy the video. Hello everyone, this is Controlled Chaos speaking here with Animaniacs Episode 9. And I am still enjoying the series so far. So, this time it seems we might have a bit more variety. But uh, I won't spoil the synopsis. Well, yeah. Warner is butting heads with a conductor and a talk show host. Brain meets his future self, and I'm guessing we're going to be introduced to another new character. Well, we'll just have to see what this episode has in store for us as we dive right on in. Alright, so what's the zinger this time? Ah. Alright, so that'll be interesting. Huh? What's going on? What's happening? Okay, what is going on? Sorry. Once more, until we get it right. Excuse me, buddy. It is buddy, isn't it? Is there any way to speed this up? Yeah, I've got lunch plans. I plan to eat a whole Thanksgiving pizza. Who said you three could break the fourth wall and ruin my creative process? Who said waving your arms around is considered a creative process? <laughs> Uh-oh. Conductors are kind of important. They set the tempo. <laughs> You Vulgarians have no understanding of real music. Whoa. I can't hear you over the sound of my beautiful music. <laughs> uh oh. Yako has to talk. Well, as long as it's not brooms, I don't think anyone's gonna sue. Hello! Ugh. Okay. Oh yeah, that's right! Fun fact! They actually used a cannon in that uh, piece. So I'm sure it was just a blank load. Huh? Oh, okay. Uh, let me guess. Don't be such a snob. It's not really his forte. Welcome back to right. That's Not the Issue. I'm your host, Tuck Buckerson. Whoa, that's the sugar honey iced tea, baby. Okay, tonight's first issue huh. Street Gangs. If we can't beat them, do we join them? Yakko Warner, thoughts? Well, Tucky, it's I... It's Tuck. You saw what they just said. I sure did, Tucky. Listen, street gangs aren't the issue. The issue is cyclists. If you want to cut down on pollution, sell your bike and buy a car, because that's one less car someone can buy to pollute the area. So the issue is climate change. No, the issue is totally insane solutions to pollution. Bucky. My name's not Bucky. Bucky, your name isn't the issue here. Uh-oh. The issue is scientists. Are they nerdy or are they cute? <laughs> can they be both? 
See, here's the level of insanity in his brain. That's the issue. That's not the issue. Tomatoes are the issue. Are they a fruit, a vegetable, or a deep state? Okay, starting to go down. Deep state tomatoes. Okay. The issue. Bit of rage. Tomatoes are the issue. We're moving on. Gun lobby. Do they have a vending machine? What? Do they have a vending machine in the gun lobby? More vending machines in the uh. lobby. That's the issue. What's <laughs> tuckeroni? My name is Tuck. Not tuckeroni. Not tucky. Not fucky. Tuck. Boy, you've got issues, Tuckster. That's the issue. <laughs> you, you see, it's Tuck. The Jets said so, and Jets don't lie. <laughs> now, someone give me an issue. Let's talk about us. How did you get over here? That's not the issue. The issue is where are we spending Christmas? I know you promised your mother we'd go to her place, but I was thinking Paris. <laughs> Does anyone have a legitimate issue? Here, yeah. I got it at a hunting store. It's legit. Not an issue of a magazine. An issue, like a topic of discussion. Uh, I'll bite. Like rent control? Yes. Like small business subsidies? Yes! Like violence in children's television? Yes, how do you feel about it? Great! Great. <laughs> how do you feel about it? Nuts. That's it! Show's over! I'm Dub Tuckerson, and I'm a giant baby who wears ladybug diapers. Wait, that's not the line. What just? Ah, every Bucky. All right. That was fun. It's always fun watching them mess with someone. Same thing we do every night. Um. What are you doing? It's time for my Oscar debut. Huh? You're not going to be Oscars. What in the Cartesian universe? Uh oh. Future brain? I mean me. I mean. Quiet, Pinky. What's happening? Hey, be careful. That's a self-steering elastomeric tennis ball that you plan to use at Wimbledon to kidnap the royal family. You've been working on it for months, but you'll never perfect it because the battery is faulty. That's impossible. I installed it myself. Yes, but Pinky chews the battery every night because it, quote, tickles his teeth like a tinfoil sandwich. La, la, la. Hey, Dad, huh. does somebody just say tinfoil sandwiches? Just like Mother used to make. La, la, la. Huh. Hey, God, it sure is strange to see two brains at once. It's like looking in a mirror, but not really because I don't see my own reflection. Ooh, zoic brain, does that mean I'm a vampire? Mm. That's delicious. I haven't had cheesecake in quite some time. Let me guess. Protein pellets years ago for maximum efficiency. Also, there's no food in the future, only dust. Nervous? You don't know who Pinky truly is. Huh? Pinky has betrayed me at every turn. How else can you explain our never ending string of failures? That's why I traveled back in time. We must get rid of Pinky before it's too late. Voila! Here's your cheesecake, future brain. <laughs> He's pure evil. Saint Brain? I don't see it. Can we get back to the Oscars? Oh, I see how it is. You're choosing a blithering idiot over a version of you with a scar, which we both know looks pretty cool and only gets infected sometimes. Oh, Ew. Ow. Quick. I certainly hope that's the right one. Ow, my pinky. Hello, did somebody say my name? My poor pinky. Yes, there he goes again. Okay. The Englishman's Wife Ghost by Netflix algorithm UZ1165. Okay. And finally, A Beautiful Brain by The Brain. And the best picture goes to 16 ounces of cream cheese brought to room two. Oh no. Two sleeves of graham crackers crushed. <sighs> Future Brain, you fouled it up. 
accidentally put my cheesecake recipe in that envelope and whatever. We've been saying you and I, now can you do this? For me, your future. Ow! Wait. Yeah, oh. Whew, you need a bath in the future. <laughs> and actually, it's your fault, future brain. Seriously? Well, to him, obviously, we look completely different. Yes, I have a huge, very cool scar. Oh no! You even sound like him! Pinky, just do something. Oh dear. Oh. Uh oh. Saving my life, Pinky. Why, of course, Brain. You're my best friend. And you are Pinky. Oh, that's sweet, Brain. Boy, I hope Future Brain is okay, wherever he is. Uh oh. <laughs> and no way to get back. Interesting. Thanks, Brain. And I shall never ask who you voted for either. You know what? what? I will take your unthinking loyalty over intellectual cynicism any day. Well, how about yesterday? That's a day. Oh, no, wait, I'm busy. What about tomorrow? <sighs> yes, Pinky. Let us prepare for tomorrow night. I can't help but wonder what actually happened in Brain's CEO future. Michael Bentham, Silicon Valley venture capitalist, egomaniac, searching for everlasting life. Huh. Then a freak accident transforms eh? his biological makeup, turning him into an angry gnome. The creature huh. is driven by rage and must now live in people's mouths. Who do you think you are, bullying somebody around? And speak for them when they cannot speak for themselves. You're just waiting around for the clock to tick. Huh. What? Really? I think I'm falling for you too. Are you kidding? You've known him for a week. What happened to that guy with the moped? He was cool. <laughs> what? Um, what? What was that? Oh, it's a gnome that's been living in my mouth. <laughs> I love that about you. You're full of surprises, Marcia. <laughs> So are you, Mr. I forgot my wallet! No, don't listen to him. I love paying for all your dinners. No. Oh, you just love everything, don't you? If you love him so much, why don't you marry him? If anyone knows of any reasons why these two persons should not be joined in holy matrimony, speak now or forever hold your peace. Any reason? How about the fact that we just met? Do you even know what her favorite dessert is? What color her eyes are? You do, do ya? No, I want to hear it from him. Uh, uh, Blue? Try Hazel Chump. Why don't you tell Marcia why you're really here? Um... You're just marrying her for her pinball machine collection! Is this true? Of course it is! He's got the callous fingertips of a pinball freak! Yeah. And the callous heart of a con man! I'm so sorry, okay? I, I have a problem. Chump! <laughs> Okay. Where will you go now? Wherever I need it. <laughs> the Incredible Hulk, anyone? Probably next season. 
Okay then. So that's another interesting one and very entertaining. Does leave me with a question though. What did happen in Brain's future? Also, did he not see that he's in his own way? Hmm. And the fact that you could actually see the insanity level of that talk show host. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to be up to date on my latest and be sure to follow my Twitter page as I'll be posting events and polls there. And with that said, this is Controlled Chaos, signing out.